vlog. I decided to document my work day. It's Friday, so I'd say today is definitely more of a relaxed work day. I have a meeting at 10 o'clock that I have to majorly prepare for, so it is 8 o'clock now. I've got my matcha. I'm going to head up to my office and just start working. After my meeting, then I'll probably just dive back into other projects and work that I have to turn in before the day is over. But my plan is by 3.30 or 4 p.m. head to this new plant nursery that actually opened in Austin and it's all outdoors, wide open, and I'm very excited because I'm gonna buy a pot of lavender and I will tell you why later. <laughs> You're gonna vlog today? I'm vlogging, yeah. More like a laid back work day because today's Friday and I'm gonna go to the plant store, right? We're going to the plant store? Yes? Yeah? We're going to the plant store, right? With my morning taking up this and then you wanting to go there in the afternoon, I just don't know, babe. Okay, I will figure it out, but I was really looking forward to that. Okay, we have a meeting in like one minute. I just popped on a shirt. This is what the bottom looks like. I don't match, but no one's gonna see that. But you can't be wearing a sports bra during a video call with a client, so. Ready to go. Okay, finished our meeting. It is now 11.35. That meeting was an hour and a half. My stomach was just starting to like growl while I was sitting there. So now I'm gonna go eat some lunch, but guess what? I'm out of food. I don't know what I'm gonna eat. We shall see. to show you my lunch because I was so hungry I came home and gobbled it up. This is the leftovers. It's just a little bit of chicken and rice, some kale. It was actually a lot of food because I ordered an entree and a side of fries. These are the fries I wanted to show you but unfortunately this is all that's left. It comes with this cilantro dip and I just scoop it like this like a giant advice I can give to you on how to manage clutter and mess and just be able to keep up with that kind of stuff is to give everything a home. Let me sit down for this. As I start talking about decluttering and managing mess and staying organized, so many thoughts and tips come to my mind that I want to share with you. My rule of thumb is does this item only do one job? For example, appliances. I have family members who have like three rice cookers and just like tons of appliances and it's taking up so much space on their countertops. Maybe I'm not a real Korean because I don't own a rice cooker, but I own an instant pot which cooks rice as well as a bunch of other dishes and meals. So so that is one rule of thumb for me is like does this does this item only serve one purpose? Is this outfit something I can only wear one or a few times? Am I going to be able to mix and match it with the rest of my wardrobe? That's actually why I stay away from bold prints. I wear a lot of neutral colors, solid colors, earthy tones just because it's really easy for me to mix and match things in my closet. What else can I fire at you? I think I should make an official video on this. The goal for me is to just be very purposeful about what I have and make sure I actually use it and take care of it. I don't want you all to think that our house is always clean. I We make messes every single day because we live here. We use the stuff, we take out stuff, but the thing is that we're really good about putting it away. And it doesn't always happen the same day, but I have a system and a routine where in, in the morning I wake up, I do a quick little five, 10 minute tidy up, and then in the evening we try to do a little reset. It's just one of those things that we trained ourselves to do, just put things back where they belong. And you betcha, when I have children, I'm going to teach them the same thing. Thundering. I don't know if you can see my lips wet. Yeah. But it's hot. Plus, wearing a mask and breathing in your own breath. 
let's see the receipt. Our grand total, one eucalyptus, two lavender, $33.97. And I think that is the least amount we've ever spent at any plant shop. What do you think? I still need to find some pots for those. Do you hear that thunder? It is so loud. Anyways, I have some work to finish up. I've got my little coffee and I think I'm gonna wrap up this vlog now, but thank you all for following along. I hope you enjoyed. I will see you in the next video.